Leb and Bell are two different words for the word heart. And they are the exact same letters, but in reverse order. And so when I explain this to you, it'll make so much more sense, especially what Joe Dispenza just said about, about some people that they're, uh, the state of being that many people exist in a state in which the body has become the mind. Okay. We already know about the chemical makeup of things that happen within our body, all the chemical responses. So the Leb, Lamed Bet, is the correct order that we want to be existing and operating from versus the Bel, the Bet Lamed. Leb means having authority over your inside, or so having authority over that which is within you. Bel is inside is having authority over you and bell means anxious fearful and terror as related to the heart so the emotions when you're in a state of anxiety or you have terror or anything out of the state of shalom this is where you are not in coherence you are discoherent and you're now in the place where you're in you are not in, what is it? That you are in the sympathetic nervous system instead of the parasympathetic. You've just entered into survival, fight or flight. And that is what is having authority over you. You haven't taken authority over it. That's why you're in the bell position, the bet lamed. Now that is supposed to teach you. So on the inside, when you are experiencing anxiety, or terror, or you're anxious and you don't have peace, that's why the Lamed is last. Because it's saying, if you have this on the inside of you, it's trying to teach you to flip your clarity so that you have authority over that which is on the inside of you, which is the correct order, where now you have heart-brain coherence working for you instead of against you. And that's what this is saying, is that if your body, so, your body, you exist in a state in which the body has become the mind because that which is going on in the inside has authority over you and is literally becoming your existence. That is so profound when I read this. I was like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense of what I've been seeing, of why this polarity is flipped within the heart. And Joe is saying, you know, there's so much more that when the mind or body, body are one as an observer, it affects the external world. Because whatever you've got going on here, you're going to experience more of from the quantum field because that's what you're attracting. As an electromagnetic being, you're attracting more of what is being right here. So you've got anxiety and you're anxious. Guess what you're going to attract more of in your quantum field? Holy moly! Hence why we have to break those subconscious programs so that we're not attracting more of that which we've become addicted to, that our body has been running in this program underneath, attracting everything that we're putting out because our hearts are in the opposite order and we haven't taken authority over them.